Hello everyone, this is Simmerex. Welcome back to the Minecraft Freestyle Let's Play series. So, been uh, meaning to do this for a while, and I think now's a good time to do that. Because I'm going to have to head back into the nether soon for some other things I want to get done. But, oh, forgot I went and grabbed all that sugar cane up there. Um, if you notice, I got some bottles. And I need to just quickly make some space in my inventory, so we're just going to toss all the sugar cane in here temporarily. Our little uh, farm up there is producing fairly decent. All right, okay. Well, it's about time to sleep. I'm going to uh, tuck into one of these beds right here. Okay, so today we're going to get into some potion brewing. First, we're going to need some just uh, bottles of water. So grab these. There we go. That that gives me a few to start with. We're going to want some of our nether wart. Alright, so to start our potion brewing process, we need arcane potions. So you're going to take, oh, forgot the blaze powder. Let me turn the chicken volume down a little bit. So you're going to take uh, one of your blaze powder and put it here. I uh, can't remember how many that'll do. And then you want three bottles. And one nether ward up here. That's going to brew up and that's going to make us three arcane potions. Or sorry, arcane potions. Awkward potions. I don't know why I said arcane potions. They're called awkward potions. Anyway, so I believe if you stick a blaze powder there and let that brew up, potion of strength. Okay, so you can toss a magma cream in there and make your potion of fire resistance. Alright, so those give us three potion of fire resistance, three minutes. Now, three minutes isn't that long. I mean, it is, but it'll save your life. But if you really want to get these pumped up here, toss a redstone in them. Now we have fire resistance for eight minutes, which is much better, especially if you're out like farming blaze rods or something. That'll get you a lot of blaze rods without taking much damage. Okay, so the next thing we want to cover here, I'm going to grab one of our strength potions. So go ahead and toss these that are done in here. So there's another thing I want to show you guys with brewing, and that is how to do a splash potion. Let's grab one of our strength potions here, and uh, we're going to toss it in there. you got to add the gunpowder to an already existing. I'm not great at brewing potions. Like I know how to do it. I know how to make the ones I want. For the most part but i get confused on processes and a lot of times i just look it up on the wiki which is the easiest way to do it there we go now we have a stress splash potion of strength so there's a quick uh crash course i'm probably not the best person to teach you how to brew potions but there's a quick little crash course in that um next part of this episode we're going to grab our potions of fire resistance here put the rest of this stuff in here okay guys I've ditched everything that's not necessarily I've got our fire resistance potions a little bit of food tools changed into our gold boots um, got a little cobblestone some obsidian one thing I think I might want is a flint and steel right okay so uh, into the nether let's do it all right, so we can come back and kind of adjust this later. I'm trying to remember the way we need to go out to get where we're going. Um, 
We're also going to make an easier way there. I remember roughly the coordinates of our nether fortress for negative 400 and negative 400. Those are rough coordinates, but that'll get us close. And I know we need to go that way first, but we're going to make an easier way there rather than uh, going down into there, walking all the way across. Because when I went and found that fortress originally, it took a long time to get there. What happened here? Oh, Soul Speed book. Let's get our debug screen up there and uh, start digging in the negative coordinate directions. Okay, here's where we're going to want to be careful. So we do not have our feather falling boots on us. That's what our cobblestone is for. I'm going to build kind of a diagonal bridge here. So we keep heading the same direction. Okay, we appear to have made it across. Let's make us a little kind of safety thing here. In case we need to move through that with any kind of speed. Alright, so now we'll uh, keep going. Still trying to keep a straight trajectory toward that set of coordinates. I'd like to be able to just go straight to it in the future. Should have already done this, but I had other things that distracted me in this world, so they're important things though. Hey guys, why are you aggro on me? I didn't do nothing. Did they go in the lava? Nope. I have no idea where they're after me. Any more? Are you mad at me too? Yep. I must be the other one. All right, so having lost our tunnel we had, we're going to keep going. Um, I mean, we we're going to have to go across this anyway, it looked like. We're still going to try to mark it out good. And make an actual path that makes sense. And we need to take these hog ones out. Those things hit hard, man. And when they gang up on you, it ain't good. I feel like if we go around that way, we should come out roughly close to that fortress over there. Alright guys, so I think now is the time to go ahead and uh, use one of these fire resistance potions. So we're about to go bridge out over that lava lake. Woo! Not that it really could have hurt us. We'll go around it in case we ever uh, don't have a fire resistance potion on us. There's our nether fortress. I see it right over there. We were doing so good on the straight line there to it too until I... Uh... Oh crap, that's all our cobblestone. I guess we're using... Another rack. I hate using this stuff because it doesn't have much of a blast resistance. Feel a little safer right now though because we do have a fire resistance potion. We'll figure out the best way to get in. See any wither skeletons? Yeah, I do down there. Hmm. We're not going to be able to easily get back up here without a bridge. Or without a staircase. Let's take that guy out real quick. We're going to try to find a blaze spawner we had before. While keeping an eye out for wither skeletons. There's nothing over here. Dead end. 
Oh, there's a blaze over there. It sees us. He's stuck down in there. But, got a blaze spawner. We got a fire resistance potion on. Uh, these guys don't do much battle with their regular attacks, like their physical attacks. So we're just going to stand here and... Something is actually hitting us. Yeah, let's get... Things are a little more peaceful here. I think that Magma Cube is whacking us. I think we should vacate for a minute and heal up all the way. Just because we have fire resistance does not mean we're invincible. Alright, let's get back in here now. So let's eat a little more and then get back in here. Stop spawning. There we go. Oh, I don't want to kill him over the lava. I was wondering what was hitting us. That guy. Oh, there's a skeleton shooting us. That makes a little more sense. I've got blaze rod. Get back here to our safety zone. Eat. There's some skeletons over there hanging out. I'm trying to stay where I can like see them spawn and get one more blaze rod I think I'll be happy because that'll do quite a bit of powder once it's broken up so we can always come back he didn't drop one this sword has looting doesn't I oh, sword doesn't have looting guess we need to uh work on upgrading the sword to have looting come on spawn one more in for me might be getting a little too much light around here there we go alright that should be 10 gives us 11 alright back here to our little safety zone real quick heal up and then we're going to start heading back to base path of torches to get back so I'll make sure we don't <clears throat> run straight into a wither skeleton okay I think we're safe we need to get up there hopefully this potion will get us all the way across it should just in case we fall in the lava that would suck all right, so let's see if we can get home safely, guys. I want to put us up pretty high so we don't have to deal with a whole lot of bullshit. I meant to make a uh, portal back there at the fortress, but I forgot. It sucks we lost that original tunnel we had, but we'll get us a straight path there eventually. There's our warp forest. That's a lot safer than a crimson forest, I guess. We are not here to mess with Endermen. Although we could really use some more Ender Pearls, so we might just take advantage right here. That's what we're gonna do. Get a whole mess of Endermen after us. That's what we wanted, though. There should be a nice pile of pearls out there for us. 
which we're going to have to toss into this nether rack to pick them up. We're going to take out as many of these guys as we can and get as many ender pearls out of this mess of endermen as we can. And all the endermen have been sitting here killing, and we've got four pearls. I think that's all of them. There's a bunch right there. All right, let's uh, keep heading home. All right, so it appears we came back to our original tunnel we had. Everything seems to be in order. We'll take all these blaze rods and turn them into uh, powder real quick. Still can't believe we only got four ender pearls out of that. Or, yeah, four ender pearls. That's insane. Now we're going to make as many eye bender as we can. how to do that I think it's like that it's a 16 all right guys well that was an exhilarating episode thank you very much for joining me my name's Ben Simorex if you enjoyed this episode be sure to leave a like if you'd like to see more about more like this be sure to subscribe also if you want to support our channel I'm gonna leave a link to our patreon in the description thank you guys very much have a great day. Bye.